Now, in the last movie, we created these curtains that we're looking down on, which would work fine if you're creating a theater stage or just a window treatment. But now we're going to create ones that are a little more complicated, that are more like the ones in the scene, which we look at them again right here. And we're looking up at these curtains. So we're seeing the back side of them, and we see a whole different set to the folds. So this is a little more complicated. And here we see another set of the same curtains going across this way, where we're seeing the different sides of the curtains. Now, in this one, of course, we're just seeing these shapes. We created those basic shapes, and let's look at those shapes again. We'll go look at those paths, and we see that we just created these individual shapes. Well, now the shapes are going to have to have a little more definition to them. So let's create these new curtains. Now, these are the same red curtains, but this time we're looking up at them, so we're going to see the bottoms of the curtains. So when I create my basic shape, I am going to be creating all the folds. We'll start right here. And uh, here's that bottom curve. But now we don't end it like we did before so it gets hidden. No, we have to continue that curve the way it's going to fold. Now, what's very important here is that you remember that these are fabrics, right? So they have to be very smooth in the way they fold. You can't have hard edges on these things. So we're going to go in here and just very loosely create these shapes, which we will adjust later. And these are all the different folds that are going to be in our fabric. So we can see that it's happening like this. Now, again, if you really want to see how this thing works, just go over and look at your curtains hanging in your window right now and see how these folds are working, and it'll give you an idea of how you might be able to recreate this. So here's one that's going to wrap around, just like we did before. There's one that's just going to wrap around, and then it's going to go off the screen. Okay, and then we'll come up here, come down here, and hold on my Option key so I can get a whole new point down here so I can do that. We'll give that a little touch like that, and I'm going to just kind of straighten this one up a little bit. And now we're going to go in there and start to adjust these. So I'm going to just kind of close this up a little, just to make them a little tighter, right in there like that. I soften this one up, make this a little tighter. And you want to kind of keep them fairly even. All right, you want to keep it even so that it is a flow of the curtain. So you want to kind of make guides. I created guides in that first one. You could create guides again, but I'm just doing it by eye this time. And we'll just create this. has to be a nice curve to it. There it is. There's a better curve. All right, so there's our basic overall shape of the curtain. Now we're going to have to create all the folds above. Based on what we see here, this is going to be in the foreground. This is going to be in the background. So we have to create a whole new set of paths that follow that. I'm going to start right here at this edge and go up, get this nice flow, come over here and go down to this edge and close it off. Then I could just very carefully go in there, get a new handle and close it off. Now I'm getting that new handle by holding down my Option key, Alt on the PC, and then clicking on that point itself and getting a new handle. Now. We might want to get a little closer here so we can get very precise. And you see that, how we're a little off there? We need to be right on that edge, right there, just like that. We're going to do the same thing here now. Get right on that edge, click, go up, go over, down, right to that edge. Option button so I can pull out a handle and option button click. That way I close it off. Now here, we just have one little fold here. So let's just jump over to this guy first. I'm going to click here, go straight up, around, and close it off just like that. Same thing's going to happen here. It's just one going up behind this one. Come around, and here we go. Close it off right in there. Now these guys, where they're overlapping, it doesn't matter because that's going to be hidden later. Now comes the trickier part. This back fold, going in here, up, and this we can just go very loosely around the sides. Here, up, loosely around the sides. Because we're only going to see this little part right in there. So we don't have to worry too much about this outer part. Let me do this, up, this guy up. So basically, the only place we have to be really tight is right there on that edge. This guy up. And finally, let's just get this edge. In fact, let's elongate this one just a little bit. 
There we go. And we start right here. Go up. And close it off. So now we have all our basic paths. So let's save them right off the bat. There they are. So now let's pull back and see what we're about to do. I'm going to use the same reds as we had before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to create my basic shapes. So I'm going to go in here and I have the overall shape of the curtains. So what I'm going to do is in a layer, I'm going to just say curtain. And I'm going to fill it with that red. Then I'm going to select the front folds. That's this one, and I'm going to select this third one. This one we'll do separately, just like we did in that first curtain. And I'm going to go into my layers, and we'll call this front folds, and fill it with that color. Now they went over, no problem, because we're going to clip it. Then we're going to take this one, and we're going to put it in a layer between the two. So just like we did before, we'll call it the midfold. And again, you want to call it whatever you want. I'm just giving it a good name so it fits. And I get my path, and I say, fill that one. All right, so now we're going to select all these little guys. I'm going to select every one of these paths. And in a layer behind the curtains, I'm going to say, back folds. Now, for those, I'm going to use that darker red. See, there's that darker red that we had before. So I'm going to fill those with that darker red. I'm in the layer for the back folds, and I get my path and say, fill it. So there we see those back folds. So now, let's start giving this that shape again. So I'm going to take my front folds and my mid folds, and I'm going to clip them all with the curtains. So Option, click between there, and you can see what just happened. And Option, and click there. And now we can see that we're starting to get those shapes. Now, we can add some tonality pretty much the way we did it the first time. I'm going to go into the front folds here, give it a layer style. I can go in and say, give it an inner glow. And I'm going to pick up that deep red right there. Click OK and say, multiply. And we'll give it some size, nice size like that. And uh, we'll bring down the opacity so it's not so strong. Click OK. Now, just as what happens before, we have that little thing happening up there. We don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate that layer style. And then I'm going to take that fold right there, which I'm going to give it a mask based on the folds. I'm going to select the folds and say, give this a mask. Now we're only seeing it inside. I'm going to unlink the mask. So I can take that dark tones themselves and enlarge them so that they will go beyond this area. I'll just pull them straight up. Let me undo that so I can not jump out of the screen there. Just bring it up and bring it down. So there you see that they're just on the edges. Make it happen. There they are. So now I want to get these darker tones inside here. So here I'm going to paint them this time. So I'm going to take my paintbrush. You know what? I'm going to reduce the opacity for this guy just a little more because I want to really darken those other folds in back there. So in the curtains, another layer that's automatically linked to it. I'm going to darken those areas back there. So I'm going to just give it a nice big paintbrush and just kind of add some darkness right back there and in there and there. I'm getting these dark tones in here. I just will deal with that one in a few minutes. So I'm going to go in here to the mid fold, which I'm going to have to mask. I'm going to just add a little dark tone right in there like so, and a little bit right at that edge. And I'm going to say, make that into a selection and mask that layer. So I see those tones only inside there, right? And I might want to get a little darker right in there like that. So now, these dark folds in the back, I might want to make those a little darker in certain areas. So I go to my back folds, and I'm going to use my burn tool. And the burn tool, I'm just going to darken certain parts even more. And let's just use the shadows so we get really dark tones in there, there, right at that edge. So I'm doing the edges, basically. I'm going to get a smaller brush and just do this little edge back here. See, so I'm getting that little darker tone right at the back. And there you can see how this is starting to work. You might want to get a little darker in there as well. So I'm going to go in there to my main curtain and just give it a little dab right back here just to darken that little area just a little bit right in there. 
right in there and in there. So just where that fold is happening. And like before, we might want to add a little additional tones. So I'll go in here and just kind of give that a little darkening, a little darkening right through there. And let's switch to highlight so we don't get that saturation of color. And we'll just add a little darkening right in there and a little lightening right into that area, a little highlight right in certain spots. Now, it looks like it's a really thin curtain. If these were theater curtains, they'd be really heavy. So what I'm going to do, right on top of the whole thing here, we'll call this one the edge. This is the edge of the curtains. So I'm going to take my original path, this one, the one that has the bottom shape of my curtains right there. And I'm going to say, let's thicken that. So I'm going to get a lighter color. Let's use this light color and make it even lighter. About like that. That looks good. I'm going to get my paintbrush and make it a hard edge and make it really small. Just about the size that I want the edge to be. That's a little light right now. That's a little too thick. So let's make it smaller. That's a good size right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take that path and stroke it. So in that layer, let's make sure I got the layer for the edge. There it is. So I'm going to take my path and stroke it. And I'm going to erase this part here because we don't want an edge on that side of the curtain. And there you can see that now our curtain has this nice little edge. If you're not sure where the edge is, let's just take our background. We lost our layers here. There they are back here. Let's get our layers and we'll just take the background and invert it so we can see how there's our little edge to the bottom of the curtains.